are on. Good morning. Happy Thursday. We have Mitch from Heat Wave CrossFit here with us today. We are super excited. We were just talking about the fact that he was on the Jansen show a little while ago. But yep. I'm like, you haven't been on my show? Come on. Yeah. Let's Not in do the new this. studio. The yeah, new studio. we have a new studio. This is a whole situation. We got Jeff over here. Yeah. I mean, this is good stuff. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Thank you for coming in oh, today. Dude. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Let's talk about Heat Wave CrossFit. Now, how long have you been there? I saw that you just um, did some new training or certification stuff. So it's yep, been the, yep. some time now. Yeah, right. You have to recert every five years. So uh, I've been going on to dive been certified for over a decade now well not over a decade it's been a decade now yeah so uh heat wave it used to be crossfit 86426 and we opened nine years ago and wow no oh, it had to be 10 years ago wow yeah yeah it was 10 years Time's flying. i hit the yeah. box a few times back <laughs> yeah, then i'm right? gonna tell yeah. you what an ass kicking is what i got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm a little scared then, to go back maybe i should just go and back. so heat wave has been it's been heat wave for five years now oh that's so wild yeah Yep, Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I hit the yeah. five-year five year mark in December. It's really cool. It yep. is really yeah. cool. Yeah, so you've fun. actually got to see people really transform through both spaces and, you know, the last 10 years. Yeah. As yeah. well as yourself. Right. Yeah. And your it, family. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of changes. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, uh, I went to Disneyland this last weekend and we started looking up. It came the big question of like, gosh, how did this start? You know, like, what did he start with? And the first day they opened, there was a line break and the toilets didn't work. And, you know, oh. the people's, the ladies' heels were going in the asphalt. And I was like, <gasps> I kind of like think of back in the day when we first opened up, it was like, All we the had to bring back memories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, it was just like, it was an asphalt floor or it wasn't yeah. asphalt, but it was a cement, cement. cement right, yeah. floor. And I look at pictures and there was people doing sit-ups on a cement floor. Like, <laughs> You're like, what the heck? Like, yeah, oh my God, like, we, this, this was terrible. really like, CrossFit. We, we, we did this, we did this. Like, <laughs> what oh, did we do to them? terrible, yeah. So now just my athletes are pampered, I guess. I was yeah, <laughs> you just, uh, you leveled up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and they you know what? No one even now. thought twice yeah. about it back then. Oh, no, not at all. No, no I, I mean, you still right? run in this crazy heat for gosh sakes. Yeah, that is crazy. Let's show a video so people can get more an understanding of what is. Well, let's talk really quick. So this video was done by Destry, the right. Night Media, um, but base, built around Murph, right? The workout. Yeah, Lieutenant Can we Michael talk Murphy. a little bit about that before yeah, we show yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so sure. if you've watched Lone Survivor or just read the book, which uh, it's about those um, Marines who go overseas and just try and, uh, I don't know what their main goal was or whatnot, but he just uh, went up to the top of the mountain and kind of just like set that last call and the, gave his life to make that last call. And one of his favorite uh, workouts or what he did, kind of a staple of his, was a mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, and then another mile run. And so every wow. Memorial Day, all CrossFit boxes kind of do that workout in memory of uh, okay. Lieutenant Michael That's Murphy. cool. So it's no joke. This workout yeah. is extreme. Yeah, for sure. And we're yeah. going to – so let's watch the video. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. There's no volume. So you can talk about it. Uh, do you want to sing with it? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Tell uh, us what we're looking at, though. And so, and you see a couple people wearing a vest. Uh, if you, if, like, as prescribed, he would uh, wear a vest as he did this. Uh, and here, Destry has some dr drone footage, which is, it's real cool. But, and then here's the uh, 100 pull-ups and... A hundred pull-ups. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, yeah. most, you know, I, most people, I mean, 10, lucky to do 10, 10 sounds lucky, exhausting. Lucky. Yeah. 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 And so well, you can, you can break it up. It's and you just partition it up. And a lot of people do it where it's five, 10, 15. Just and work then, through it. Yeah, and then you'll do 20 rounds of that. And, and so how much does like the that. vest weigh? Uh, for guys, they're weighing a 20-pound vest. Wow. And then for the ladies, uh, it's a 14-pound vest. That's still a lot. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. Just going on a jog with that, just to kind of get accustomed to it and acclimated before we did this workout. We'd do a couple workouts with it, and it puts a strain on your joints. People oh, think, man. you know, like, oh, I lost 20 pounds. Look like, at all those people on Memorial yeah. Day weekend showing up to work yeah. out. It was unreal. We had we had drop ins. We had just all I, we had over fifty people doing that workout. It's Goosebumps. Cool. Yeah, yeah, really it cool. Was. Yeah, it, it is neat. really to give tribute um, to you know such a strong message is impressive, and then to have that many people show up. Yeah, one of our veterans that was there, uh, Mike. He was on there, and he had his name badge on his actual vest, and uh, he just said, "There's nothing. There's nothing better. Like to be to honor that person is just you know." Yeah. A lot of them just go and you don't hear another word about them, but to, you know, thousands of people to do a workout named after you, it's just kind of like the, the ultimate tribute, the ultimate honor. Well, that is pretty and cool. you, I mean, we saw the struggle 
of people really working hard to get through yeah, it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's the real. struggle was real. Uh, almost, yeah, almost, the struggle sure. was real. <laughs> yes, almost. It's it's tough for me to just say, guys, you don't need to injure yourself. You know, like these. He he made the sacrifice. Yeah. You coming here, showing up, and doing what you can is is a sac. Is, you know, is, but I is a I've heard people talk about it, and they go in as well. Um, wanting to challenge themselves yes. and ready for the challenge, which is super impressive. It comes from the heart, obviously, yeah. for each person that shows up on yeah. a Memorial Weekend to do a workout right. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's talk about the fact that your family's involved in CrossFit. So it's not just something that you do as yourself, um, but you have your your wife, you have your sister-in-law. Um, it's a whole life. Your daughter is in there cleaning and I mean it's just it's pretty cool to see that it's you know all of you involved in that family thing. run yeah 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 uh, my wife is a coach she coaches at the 830 class and and she's been doing it five months pregnant she just scales everything and modifies what she can and she's so cute if you haven't seen a picture yeah. of her you wouldn't even know she's pregnant unless she's look facing you <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, and then my sister-in-law is also a coach and she coaches the afternoon classes and, and then she's kind of the head of the teen classes oh there they are Where's the family? So cute. Yeah. You guys just went to Disneyland? Yes. Yep. California trip. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Really cool. Uh, we went, we actually went to a wedding in November and went to Disney World. And so it was kind of cool that we went to Disney World and then Disneyland and kind of saw the comparisons, but. Which, which is better? Like which is better? better? Yeah. Uh, I'm just kind of a wow with a castle. Like, you know, when you have that picture right there, you couldn't even see yeah. the castle in the background and Disney World has that big, big castle. So. You just get to know. sit there and, and, and it was enjoy cooler it. weather in Florida. Well, your November, daughter's perfect and, age also yeah. to yeah. really I'm get both the effects of, of it. Yeah, both of them are good. Yeah. 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 It's tough to say. Which and you're going to have a new baby. Yep. Yeah. When? Yeah, yeah. Girl September, or boy? September 26th. Uh, we're not finding out. <gasps> a we surprise? Did Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. We did that with the first one and we're like, all right, let's, let's do it again. I want to know more now because I have all the girl or like clothes that i'm like girl okay, stuff can yeah. We, yeah can we can get, we get rid, rid of them are we keeping it? Keep it? better yeah. keep it so i kind of want to get a little bit ready yeah we're, we, I mean, we've kept it this long so why not yeah but. you now you just got to push through yeah yeah it's coming soon though oh, i mean yeah it's true. flying by that's yeah. exciting yeah um tell us a little bit about so you're a teacher i just realized that you're a teacher i had no idea yes. yeah i guess um, maybe i did but i was like oh shoot tell us a little bit about that <laughs> uh so I just went to this CrossFit level two seminar and, uh, one of the, a lot of the people were like, so you teach and you own this business. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I delegate, I delegate a lot. I do, you know, <laughs> You're so, like, luckily I have my wife and sister yeah, team over exactly, here. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, uh, I teach over in Laughlin and, uh, actually I just took a job over in needles. So I'll be headed there to needles this next year. Breaking yeah. news guys. Yep, yep. Well, that's just exciting. Resignation. Yeah. So I'll be teaching sixth grade. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. And I'll be, this is my 19th year of teaching. Sixth grade. I wow. Think, wow. That's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a great grade. Is it junior high for them over there? I agree. Yes. Yeah. And it's going to be different for me because I've taught fifth grade for 18 years. Well, I could stint for fourth grade for a couple of years, but otherwise fifth grade was my jam. I didn't like going a little bit lower than that. So I bumped back up to fifth grade and sixth I'm excited grade's for sixth a whole grade. Yeah. New level. Yeah, right. well, you have a congratulations in the chat from Wahid. Oh, thanks, Dr. Ziri. Yeah. Yes. He's, uh, he's a heat wave member. He works out with Karen Mitchell. We have a personal trainer on staff, and she she's the best, uh, not only in the area. I, I would put her up against any personal trainer. And uh, wow. he works out with her and has shown big gains. Nice. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, it's definitely good. Keep the doctor in shape, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he knows how to do it right. Yeah, that's he knows. right. Yeah. Do you coach any sports? Um, I kind of, when I I did. I coached cross country track for a while and then even basketball at River Valley. And that's really what I love, but it's just so much time. A lot. Yeah. And yeah. so when I had my daughter, I quit actually. And I like being, you know, I want to be there for her. And I, I just told, uh, just to my wife and everything. It's like, I'll get back into coaching when Wilders are ready to go. Older. Yeah. 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 Well, and your wife and sister, they coach the softball team. Yes. Yeah. We just had the round table with them. Oh my God. They're so funny. They are cool. They came up for a pool party and they're just all polite. They're nice, you know, and it's just, it, it is good. And having my daughter being around them, like, mm -hmm. you know, yep. you're always kind of like, what are they going to say? What is she going to hear? But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not worried about it with them. Yeah. I'm not. Respect. They're, they're, yeah. They're just good kids. Man. It's good. It's yep. good. Can we show a couple of the pictures, um, of the transformations? Like you let's bet. maybe look at Casey Quartz. Yeah. Let me get that up for you. We have two of them, and um, let's see. Let's start with this one. How about this? We'll start the video. Here we go. 
Oh, Let's yeah, talk a little Casey. bit about Casey. So he was, when it was 86426, he was there, you know, and then just uh, kind of went away from CrossFit for a while. And then once you go away from something, you know, it's it's kind of hard to get back in and break your routine. But Look at him there. He did. Wow. Yeah, look at that Look at that back. Well, <laughs> and you know, we all get <laughs> busy. You kind of get, when I know any, when it was um, 86426, you know, he was young, didn't, wasn't married, and you know, and then you yeah. get into life and yes. it gets a little right. overwhelming. And then you try to figure out right. how do I balance working out and a family and you know, he's, exactly. he's doing it now. Yeah, you yeah. get a little wiser yes. and you realize you can balance yes, it. Yes. And, and he's realizing it's only an hour a day and that, you know, you, you've got to make it work. He's hit the, he hit the 445 class yesterday. He hit the 7 a.m. today. Like it, it, it's just all it's over, changes. whatever works. Well, and, you and I get liked in, in the post, if you hit um, their Facebook page that it, it said that, you know, it's not like he's a fad dieter. It's not like he's working out seven days a week. It, no. The transformation is just happening, happening from being continuous and just his cross making it. The training is doing and it. eating better funny story about casey is we have we have an in body in there so right when he got back into it he's like all right i want to test my body fat and everything like that so we have his body fat from that first picture and then uh he goes uh, two months in and he's lost probably 15 pounds probably eight percent body fat just oh, crushing it huge. right yeah. yeah and then he goes and then he was like mitch i got these supplements from whatever and i was like what do you think i'm like I think you're an idiot. I go, <laughs> what are you why? doing? I go, I go, it's yeah. already happening. I, 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 yeah, exactly. I was like, <laughs> why are you doing it? You, you, you see what works and you're doing it. You've been just crushing it. And then you want to do that. Like, what do you just <laughs> stick yeah. to like, what throw you're them doing? away. Wrong direction. I did. I did. 8% I like, percent go body find fat. Yeah. Like, I, was whoa. Like, I was like, just go like sell them to somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Get your money back. See if you can get a return on these. And he's like, well, really? Like, I'm like, yes, I, I don't take supplements. You don't need it. You need water, huh? Fine. Drink some yeah. water. <laughs> what if it's working? Then stick with it. Don't That's abort. So Don't he, abort. You know, society makes us want the next, right? Oh, yeah, like yeah, you just yeah. want the next and, instead and of just he, transitioning. He was thriving, and he was like, "I want more. I want more." And I was like, it'll, like it'll, it'll "Take your come. time, it'll son." It's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's show the girl picture. I thought this one was really cool. I pulled okay. it off of your Facebook. Let me get that up for you. Uh, yeah, and this is Tiffany Kelly. She's a BMXer here locally. Uh, cool. And she coaches a lot of the other BMX athletes. I'm pretty sure she coaches the girl that's going to Worlds this summer. Oh, yeah. Uh, I yeah, mean, yeah. that is a huge, huge, huge transition. Yes. Uh, it's awesome. And she just said, and uh, fun thing about her is that she's a competitor. And so when she goes to, she goes to Gilbert mm -hmm. and all those uh, places, I think Gilbert down there, they have a racetrack. But, uh, and she wins all the time. And uh, she said she started lifting and she started losing speed. But then CrossFit, we, we work out with intensity. And so she's like, I haven't lost my speed. I'm get, actually getting faster. Gaining. Moving, yeah. Moving, so moving, it's moving, not moving. just, you know, that slow, methodical. Well, it's a different or, workout when you do your CrossFit than it is just going in and training with weights sure. or whatever. You guys do everything. So yeah, I yeah. see that. Yeah. It's really cool. You could see it a little bit closer if you came into class. <sighs> this might be He's a like, hint, hint. This might be a challenge for us. <laughs> I feel like we might not get out of this I one, I know. Jeff. We might have to go in there and. Uh, mm -hmm. If this is my second time on the show, I've got to give you guys some Yeah, he does. Some slack, Listen, huh? you're right. I talk to myself in the mirror, like, pretty religiously, like, hey, what are you doing for yourself today? Like, yeah. you know, yeah, I'm going to eat better today. And, okay, so that happens. And then tomorrow, that doesn't happen so much. And then I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm going to take a walk. And then. Accountability. Yeah. That's what they're there you know, for. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I'm, Accountability. And then yeah. you, can, you can buddy up with somebody and bring them in and. Yeah, you're going to start eating better and feeling better. That is better the best part, I think, of having a place to go, like your places that you actually build a team. Like yeah. You yeah. start you showing up for not yeah. just yourself, but your team. Yeah, yeah. Which you get is demotiv another you, family. Huh? Not as oh, motivated sure. alone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's true. Uh, I did the workout yesterday, and I, I had just didn't have time to do it during class, and so I jumped in, and I did it uh, when nobody was there, and I about stopped. Like, if there's nobody there, you, yeah. you know, even... I, no motivation. I, no. Yeah, there isn't. I mean, I'm... It's I'm, almost like you want to put your Facebook on and video yourself live yeah. just so you're like, <laughs> oh, let me talk about that. So, in the beginning of the year, you did something super cool. So, I think it's always nice... Probably many things that oh, were super yeah. cool. It but. is very <laughs> true. But you started posting workouts that people could do at home. And, you know, me being in the business world and have owned my own business, I was like, oh, th this is pretty brave that he's giving access to, you know, workouts. I like I it. mean, I know that you can, you know, get them anywhere, but it, I was super impressed um, to see you like, hey, this is, you know, this is something you can do at home. Yeah. This is something you could change your life with. And I was like, dang, he's calling us all out right now and sharing his secrets. <laughs> yeah, can you talk yeah. a little bit about that? Like, that was super cool. Oh, I, I man, I, I want everybody to be fit. I, uh, 
speaking of Disneyland, seeing people in wheelchairs that weren't handicapped or just the fact that they couldn't put on that many steps. Like that's, yeah. I, it, it was hard. I mean, even uh, we put on 20,000 plus steps. It, it's a long day and it, it, and it is hard, but that's why you work out leading up to that. So I didn't have to worry about it. You know, my, yeah. m- my grandparents didn't, or Wilder's grandparents didn't have to worry about it. They can do it. My parents can do it. And it's just, you want to be there for your kids for your and kids. grandkids. And that's, that, that's what I help with. And I want everybody to be like that. I don't, yeah. I don't think it's a shame that people aren't tired. like that. Yeah. When you're out there walking Tired or just can't do it or can't pick them up or, you know, can't yeah. throw a ball to them. Like that, that's what we train for. Mm. It's not just to look good in the mirror. It. Like it. I mean, that, that helps That's too. a benefit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, so we, so you're having a baby. Yeah, yeah. CrossFit is thriving. It's moving. You're hitting your 10 year mark. Like that's impressive. Yep. You're going from Laughlin to Needles. Um, I mean... That's a lot going on in your life. Yeah, it is. How yeah. do you deal with the stress of owning your own business, being a teacher, a father? A Work husband? out. <laughs> yeah. He right. works out more. Yeah, for sure. I do. I, I mean. It does take stress away. Let yeah. me say this. How do you keep it from just being your job to something that you still find um, I happiness just, I still I have a passion for it. You do. I, it it's is. Just, and it's, it's still that, that fire. That fire burns like as much as it did when I first bought in. Uh, I'm, I'm over there scrubbing the floors right now. I came over and. I'll go back and finish scrubbing the floors. I, I don't, it, it's not a job for me. I, I just love it. it. Yeah, I do love it. Yeah. And, and just seeing, like, just seeing the games with Casey's and all the members and those, those guys coming in, like, they keep me coming in. Yeah. I'm there every yeah. day at 5 a.m. Again, you Motivation. build a family. I know, I, yeah, I know they're going to be there and I, you know, I'm, I'll be there for them. Yeah. Like, like, they're going to be like, oh, I'll be there tomorrow. I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> yeah, in too. Yeah, right. I mean, there's, there's <laughs> if no If I question. don't come, you don't See get you to go. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, like if, if they ever think like, oh, should I go? Like I will be there, you know? And then yeah. like you can sign in on classes and see there might be only one or two people there and they're like, oh, I didn't feel like coming in or I didn't want that coach. And I'm like, I'm paying that coach. Come in. They're there come for you. In. Yeah. They're yeah. there for you. Can we see, um, so you have a teen program. Can we pull up Mikey? I mean, this is a serious box Mikey jump Gonzalez. with some yeah, serious yeah. hair. And I'm almost I, there. I joke I'm almost about there. this because uh, <laughs> it's like we you do you do jump and land. Like we teach teens different things: Here body body awareness, body control. And so jumping and landing is one big thing. He's got his knees bent as he is he uh, Strong, lands on this. Yes, just solid but then, as a rock. But then this it reminded me of like his hair. Fabio. <laughs> yeah, like it, or just like there's that. Dun, or, dun, like, dun, dun, dun. Oh, it was pretty classic. He just That's gets true. out of the water and does the hair. Flip. I think that yeah. your post said we can't We're gonna teach play the it one hair more time. We just can't, we do, in we case can't. you missed it, people. No, Watch the hair. Poetry so, in motion. Here nice we go. Nice box. That's a big box, too. Like, yeah. Those box jumps are no joke. No, that's serious. I didn't even know there was a box there. I was looking at his hair the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I bet his dad's just jealous of that. Dude. Yeah. He's like, uh, yeah. I'm jealous of it. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be able to do a box jump like that, too. Yeah. I could hear yeah. it. It's competition. Oh, well, I bet. Yeah, I bet. He gonna... pre- I used to have hair like that, too. <laughs> yeah. oh, I did. We need to find a picture of him. I wonder. With hair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have never seen him with hair, have you? Oh, those pictures of him and Dana, like, on the beach when they're, like, what, Young. 17 Classic, years old? Huh? Yeah, they've been dating for every Dude, like, I gotta high stalk school. Dude, I got to stalk them. I haven't seen them. Oh, they're good. They're so good. Lucky yeah. for him, he's got her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Mike. Just kidding. We know you could do it all on your own. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Who's that working out behind you right there doing some push-ups? Uh, I think that is, that might be Casey. Court. Is it Casey? Yeah, That's that is thought. Casey. Yeah. Jordan, you got Bo, you got all of the courts up in there. Yeah. I do personal training with Bo and Debbie and they're, they're, and you know what, what happened was we, I got Bo and started doing personal training with him. And then his, and then right after that, Debbie was like, I want in. in. Uh, yeah, I yeah. went in, I went in. It's, it's awesome. And so, uh, he's, he's done a lot better too. I mean, yeah. just, he's, you can see him. I did a post about them. If you look at our Instagram heat wave CrossFit and there's one of like, them too. I was over at Correa's with them and just having some drinks, and they you could tell just they're they had Everything chubby faces, him. and yeah, and then and then now it's just they they've slimmed down, gained a lot of muscle, and yeah, and they're well, more motivated, older and fitter, yeah, yeah, and they do a lot act activity wise, oh so they have to be on the prime <laughs> prime fitness. <laughs> That's what, and so and, and Bo does. He he works real hard, and he he travels a lot. Like yeah. right now, he's in Houston, and so it's it's tough to get that dialed in. But what we're doing for his nutrition is he does. Now he's on intermittent fasting, and so I love he'll intermittent yes, fasting. yeah, it, and it so works for him. So he can eat a little bit more did, when he's yeah, out and about. Yes, yeah, and he doesn't have to worry about like oh, what can I eat here? What can I eat here? It's just yeah. like 
when he stops eating, he'll look what time it is and like he'll he'll fast for sixteen hours. Wow. And so it works for him with his travel schedule and yeah, and so he'll That's do that. Good. I mean that you know, you don't even kinda of think about that. So you know you go in, you know you do the workout, but really the the great part of the whole package is that you help them build better habits yeah. in the I wouldn't kitchen. say diet, yes. it's not diet. Yeah. It's nutrition, yeah, yeah. 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 And it, I've seen a lot of posts lately just about uh it's bad that like when uh, somebody starts eating healthy, they're on the diet. It's like no, this is this a is lifestyle. What, this is yeah, this is what yeah. I eat. This is I guess yeah, you are what you eat. Diet. You gotta right. always remember that. Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, that'd and be diet, scary. yeah, nutrition is nutrition is huge. Like you have the building blocks of CrossFit and nutrition's down at the bottom. It's it's the building block. If you don't have your Guess nutrition right in check, you can't you can't. I mean, they always it. say abs are ma- built in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, for sure. No matter how many sit ups yep. you do, huh? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, again, breaking news. He's going to be bleeding blue with his ladies, so Ooh, that's a good. That's needles. exciting. Yep, I love yep. needles. I always talk about the heart and soul of it. I mean, I bleed red. But the River Valley. He's yeah. River Valley. Yeah, but geez. needles, you know, it's one of those places that um, I loved when I was young because it was built around families. And then, you know, I moved back here with my kids, and I was sitting at the basketball game, and I was like, Okay, so these are all the people I went to school with, their kids, and you still have grandma and grandpa and auntie and uncles and great grandma and grandpa. I mean, it's the yeah. same amazing faces. Well, like they said on your show a couple of weeks ago, like we went up and watched it and it, it was just everybody in state, you know, when they went and won the state championship. Yeah. There was a ton of Needles people there and it was just like, that, that's awesome. This is what you It want, matters. You know? Yeah. They do, you don't stand alone in that town. No, no, no. not at all. So we're going to leave you with that. I mean, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Don't be guys. afraid to hit CrossFit. Let's let's leave them with one last thing. If they are worried or feel a little anxious about it, what's Scared. the best thing to do? Uh, take that plunge. Just show up. Just do it, yeah. Show I, up. There was somebody who started yesterday, and I just said, hey, how did you find out about us? She says, I saw you on Instagram, and it looked fun. So I was like, wow, that you know that takes some guts coming in here, you know, yeah. all on your own. Or, yeah, so I'd, I'd say just grab a friend and come on in. Got to show up if you want to work out. <laughs> yeah. If you have like any, Nike would yeah. say, just do just it. Just do it. Yeah. If you can, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can email me, heatwavecrossfit.com or at gmail.com. And then uh, uh, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. And yeah. I'll, I'll be the one messaging you. And really cool. We can get you started. Get out Thank there you for and, coming today. Get out there and do it, folks. Get out there and do it. A little high five here. <laughs> yeah, right on. Oh, right, that guys. was like a muscle high five. Dude, that was yeah. a solid <laughs> high five. Yeah, that was solid. <laughs> yeah. Have one, a good guys. day, guys. All we right. will see uh, you next later, week. Guys. Cool. Bye. Bye-bye.